Um, Andros, tell us. Let's talk about you, shall I know. we? End um, of the season. I, you I, must I, be twiddling I, your thumbs. I mean, what are you doing with yourself? Uh, at the moment, I'm enjoying the rest. Probably next week, middle of next week, I'll be like, all right, where's the nearest pitch? Where's the nearest yeah. swimming pool? I need, to, I need to get working again. But at the moment, I'm enjoying the rest. Been a long, hard season, oh. intense schedule. So, yeah, a few days rest. Do the body some good. Family, better team in the family, obviously. Family time, obviously. Um, I've been lucky. I've still been able to go training and go to games. But the missus, obviously, spent a lot of time in lockdown over yeah. the last year. So, made sure we went out for dinner last night, get her out, get her in a dress. And, yeah. Aww. Magic. <laughs> Magic. 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 Sounds lovely. Nice little date night yeah, for exactly. you. Um, I remember speaking to you, gosh, it would have been last year sometime, mm. and we talked about what you've been getting up to, and you were being a bit of a chef, baking and things. Still doing that? Uh, no. Oh, no time for that now. <laughs> no. no, yeah, in lockdown, I tried everything. I tried baking, I tried cooking, a little bit of DIY, but as soon as things go back to normal and someone's yeah. a phone call away you just let it go don't you unfortunately yeah. yeah oh well that's all right um you might have to get back to it this summer if you've got Hopefully. a little bit of a break as you say um i mentioned crystal palace winger mm. what is happening with you andros i don't know at the minute um I've had a few offers from overseas um waiting hopefully now the season's ended for the premier league offers to come in and then I just sit down with my agent and see which is the best offer for me at this time of my career. I'm going to ask you, Andros, is it, it must be quite difficult, for particularly for guys mm. in Palace who are out of contract, not really knowing the future in terms of a manager? Um, not so much. Not so much, because if you're getting a contract, you're getting a contract from the chairman, from the, from the director of football, Dougie Freeman. They basically sat us all down just before the end of the season and said, Listen, the new manager's a couple of weeks away. Yeah, let's wait and see what he wants, and then we'll give you a call. That's what they basically said to everyone. Okay. But in February, March, I was bricking it. I was yeah. thinking, what am I going to do next season? I, I wasn't in the team at the minute. I've got kids to feed, all that sort of stuff. But now I've had my first solid offer in. Yeah, I'm mm. chilled. I've, I've a bit got rosy. yeah, I'm a bit rosy. Yeah. It's like what yeah. happens happens. Let the rest of the offers come in, and then make a decision after that. So there, is there a possibility you could stay at Palace? Or? Yeah, no, no, there is a big possibility. Um, like I said, they said they said specifically to me they would like me to stay, but they want to see what the manager, new manager, thinks. So um, unless the new manager is a manager I've fallen out of in the past, <laughs> um, hopefully I should be Can't okay. Can't be many of those, Andros. Um, <laughs> All right, there's a few. <laughs> the younger Andros, maybe one or two, but yeah, no, hopefully that's not the case. But you also mentioned the continent. You've mm -hmm. Oh, I said not the continent. You said a few offers. Yeah. Is that... In Europe, is that America? What, can you give us a bit more on that? Or is um, in Europe, oh. in the area of Turkey, maybe. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so Turkey, not the area. <laughs> the area of Turkey. <laughs> that, Turkey's to... a big place. <laughs> yeah, so, I've got that down as in Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go with Turkey then. Okay, so this is exciting. So there are possibilities out there, and uh, in a way, you're in a good position because now you're here. You're on the sh on the show. You're talking about mm. your availability. There are clubs already yeah. coming in for you. Hopefully, there, oh, there's bound to be. Obviously, people have been aware of your situation mm. anyway. Um, but this sparks a conversation within clubs who are thinking, actually, Andros Townsend definitely can do a job for us. Yeah, clubs that are listening to TalkSport 7am in the morning. Of course they are. 20 of them. 20, 20 of them. You'd 20 be, of them do, you know what? do you know, you'd be surprised. I mean, even yesterday, I know it's not quite the same, but I had someone from the, the Chelsea Academy messaging saying, great to hear yeah. you on the radio, for example. You know this what? Morning, so. Everywhere I go, I get people... Telling me, oh, you do so well on talks, but like even like Andros, referees, assistant, yeah. postmen, electric, like everywhere I go. Do you know? Do you know? I tell the boys. Do you know where it's unbelievable? See if I, you jump in a taxi in Glasgow. Mm. Ev, it must be. It must, they must have to do it. They must, they must sign a contract that says when they're in the taxi, they must listen to talk sport. Because every time, and I mean every, I don't mean most, I mean all taxi drivers in Glasgow listen to talk sport. <laughs> they do. They do. It honestly, it took me by surprise. And they've all got an opinion, by the way. <laughs> well, who doesn't? Absolutely. Um, what about on the pitch? Players, refs, do they ever go? I heard you the other day. I can't believe you said that about me. Uh, <laughs> refs, there was one ref that said to me after we made a bad decision, don't be battering me on Wednesday morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I enjoy the banter. I enjoy the banter. It's good, especially from refs who sometimes you forget a human being. So it's nice when they throw a bit of banter back and give you a bit. Andros, I was going to say to you in terms of uh, where you go next, your new deal, and all that kind of stuff. Are you open to it in the respect that potentially the you'd have to obviously think about the family, mm. maybe moving the family, family staying, all that kind of thing. All these things have got to come into consideration. I'm taking it. 
Yes, of course. You, but I'm very fortunate my kids are not yet in school. My missus, uh, yeah, my missus is not fast. She already said to me last night that if, if we have to go somewhere, yeah. she'll be, especially if it's a sunny place, a sunny oh, yeah. climate, she'll be, <laughs> Easy she'll be happy. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very fortunate. I've got a very supportive family and kids who are young enough to, to travel the world. So, listen, I'd, I'd love to stay in the Premier League, but yeah. who knows? We should get your adventure. F- I doesn't know. It, it, doesn't I, adventure? In some ways, as you say, in February, March time, you oh. were slightly worried. Oh. But now you've got possibilities and you've got that opportunity to really sit down and think, well, what works for us all? Mm. Um, which is quite exciting, yeah. really. Um, I wanted to ask you quickly about Roy Hodgson mm. because obviously his time at, at Crystal Palace has come to an end. Uh, I mean, what a servant to football as a man. 45 Absolutely. years as a manager, which is just <coughs> unfathomable when you think Incredible. about it. Um, I wanted to know what you made of him, in, first of all, in his, in his time at Palace, but what he did for you as well, for your career, do you think? Listen, if, if I speak about my career, I'll be here all day. Um, <laughs> listen, I've said it before. He gave me my chance when I was 22-year-old, unknown player um, for England. Gave me my debut when not many people thought I should have even been in the squad. Um, after that, he stuck stuck with me. If I wasn't playing for Spurs, if I was in and out of the team in and out of form, kept sticking with me, kept playing me. And when he came to Palace, he literally... He said the first day, I'm going to make a defender out of you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> and sure enough, he did day after day, he did batter me um, and he and eventually got me defending. So I owe so much to that guy. I'm devastated that he's obviously leaving and retiring, but he seems happy, he seems ready to go. So I, I'm happy for him and I look forward to seeing what the future holds for him. Where did you first come across, Roy? Um... When I was 22, actually when I was 21, I was in the under-21 squad yeah. and we were in St George's Park and he pulled me and basically said, you're doing well for QPR, we're keeping an eye on you, just keep doing what you're doing. It's amazing, Andros, I said to Natalie yesterday, I think, I'm scared to say what year it would be, but I bet it's the best part of 30 years really? I've, when he was manager at Switzerland. Yeah. I played against him as a Scotland. Mm. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, he hasn't. Has he completely confirmed he's retired? No. So, do no. you think he still can go on and can contribute to football? You know what? Seeing him on the training field on a day-to-day basis, even after he announced his retire, uh, his, his his leave in Crystal yeah. Palace, you would have been, you, you would have forgiven him for just right. Somebody else take training on, but no, he's literally hands on. He's kicking every ball. He's Brilliant. so passionate. I so, love that. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets to. October, November, <laughs> there's a team kind of struggling and, and he obviously gets the call because I don't think he'll be able to handle um, life without football. <laughs> yeah. He's that sort of guy, he lives and breathes football. And just quickly on, on the stigma, I suppose, mm. about Roy Hodgson, there are certain managers that have always, that in more recent times, that sort of dinosaur stigma. Mm, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just just tell us why that's completely wrong. It's completely wrong because when he took us over we were I think we were the, the worst losing record in the Premier League we lost seven seven games on the spin scoring no goals and he literally got to work straight away on the training field we finished mid-table that season three seasons after that we finished mid, mid-table mid again four years on the spin for Crystal Palace um, which we've never really had before um, Crystal Palace before that were struggling and maybe surviving the last game but he's given us that kind of that, that survival spirit and Crystal Palace are now nine seasons in the Premier League. So there is a stigma around Roy Hodgson, but for me, what a top guy, top yeah. manager. And he has been for 45 years. Oh, I still, just saying it and mm. hearing it, 45 years as a manager. Wonderful, wonderful servant to the game. And hopefully there'll be still a place for him if he wants to continue doing something mm. in the game. Um, Andros, it's great to have you with us. Good You're sticking with us Excellent. until 10. Uh, you guys are going to just have this bromance, I can tell. It's incredible. I'm going to be the third wheel. <laughs> He's real. <laughs> I just feel like I shouldn't be here. But look, we'll take a break and you guys can continue this loving. This is Talk Sport Breakfast then with Andros Townsend, Ali McCoyst and Natalie Sawyer. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.